paper. Question 25. We've got two triangles, T1 and T2. Uh, the lengths of the sides are in centimetres and the area of T1 equals the area of T2. Work out the value of x, giving your answer in the form a plus root b, where a and b are integers. Okay, um, this is a fairly tough question, but we'll, we'll have a stab at it. Right. Um, let's look at this triangle here. I, I need to work out what the area is. And I have, an, I have two sides and I have the angle in between. Um, so the area is going to use the formula half a b sine c call that a call that b and that can be the sign that can be the angle c um, so it's going to be half times x times x times sine 30 now that's going to be um, a half x squared and sine of 30 check with your calculator sine of 30 is a half so it's a half times a half x squared which is a quarter x squared so that's the area of t1 now the area of t2 which we'll do in blue T2 um, is the base times the height divided by 2, or half times the base times the height, x plus 1, which equals a half times x times x is x squared, x times 1 is x minus 2x minus 2 so equals a half x squared uh, that's minus x minus a half x minus 1 okay and these two areas are equal to each other so a quarter x squared equals a half x squared minus a half x minus one. I'm going to multiply everything by four because I don't like this quarter here. So x squared, so multiplying everything by four. x squared equals two x squared. Multiplying this by four, we get two x. Multiplying this by four, we get four. Okay, let's take everything to one side. So I'm um, uh, I'm taking x squared off both sides and we get x squared minus 2x minus 4 is equal to 0. Okay, now there's a couple of ways we can go about this. I need to solve this equation. Um, we are asked to work at the value of x giving our answer in the form a plus root b. Um, I could use the quadratic formula or I can complete the square. Um, I think what I'm going to do here is the quadratic formula. So a is going to be equal to 1, b will equal negative 2, c will equal negative 4. Okay, so x is going to be equal to minus b or negative b plus or minus. square root of b squared minus 4 times a times c and that's all over 2a 2 times a still not liking the look of this so let's tidy it up minus minus 2 is 2 plus or minus square root of negative 2 squared is positive 4 and this is a negative times a negative it's going to give me a positive 16 all over 2 
and coming close to the end of 20 over 2. Now root 20, root 20 is a third. I'll do this on the side. Root 20 will equal the square root of 4 times 5, which is the square root of 4 times by the square root of 5. And the square root of 4 is 2, so it's 2 root 5. So we get 2 plus or minus 2 root 5 all over 2. Dividing everything by 2, we get 1 plus or minus root 5. So that means, now it said x plus, or a plus root b. So x will equal 1 plus the square root of 5. And let's just go all the way back. Given your answer in the form a plus root b, where a and b are integers, it is a plus root b, and a and b are integers. And that's it for this paper. Hopefully you found it useful. I'll be back with another one soon. All the best and good luck with your exams.